This fly I'm going to tie is uh, called the Green Peter Herring and it's a fly that I actually decided to put the herring into the Green Peter because I had a lot of customers who found that the hen pheasant wing in the Peter would split when they you know fished it and that's natural enough so I decided to put in deer hair into the Peter to actually in a way solve that it kind of gives you a nice broken up wing and the buoyancy in the deer hair helps the fly to work in the, as, a, as a great top dropper fly and basically we cover the hook shank with some brown tie and silk and we bring it right down to the bend and the first material we use is a piece of gold oval just medium gold oval tinsel now, I tie that in at the back with say two or three turns like that and then we tie on the body and for the green peter I use this is just my own dubbin it's number uh, uh, green olive that's number nine and I've used it sort of in all green peters for a long time and we just take a wee piece of dubbin like that and dub that onto the thread and then we wind that on to form the body of the fly and again on Peters, because you've got a wing and a front hackle, I go about maybe just maybe over halfway up the hook shank like that. So if your body and your gold rib, and the next feather we put in is a red game cock hackle like that, and that forms the body hackle on the fly. We tie that in right in front of the body like that, a couple of turns. Catch the tip of it in the hackle pliers and wind the hackle again. I take maybe a turn or two turns at the front and then just wind that down the body like that. Kind of even turns. I would take maybe about maybe four, maximum five. Say that's is on a, a size 10 hook. And we then, when we get to the bend, we catch the tip of the hackle in with the gold oval like that and we then bring the gold oval up the body like that. About, I'd say, maximum four turns right up through the body hackle like that. Cut off the tip of the hackle and then tie in the gold rib here at the front like that. And then cut off the gold rib and cut off the stalk of the hackle there like that. So now that's really, that's a normal body and the normal way I would tie a body on any green peter. And you're leaving room here for the wing and then for the front hackle. So just tidy that up there and form a foundation for the wing. Now, as I say, on this wing I use natural deer hair and this sort of gives a, a mobility to the wing and it also the buoyancy in deer hair means that I think it, it makes it a good top dropper fly. So we take a bunch of deer hair like that and basically what I do is just cut the deer hair off kind of fairly straight at that there and we tie that in just right in front of the the body of the fly like that. A couple of turns, easy turns, then a few tight turns and you'll see the way the deer hair flare, flares out like that and that's really what you want it to do, to splay out because that's it's that that actually makes it work and makes it very mobile in the water and then I just bind down, bind down the, the, the ends of the deer like that, running over it like that and then we take the front hackle and the front hackle is composed of a red game saddle hackle, a slightly longer hackle than the body hackle and they make the fibres just slightly wider like that. If you measure them down there you'll see that the cover well cover the point of the point of the hook like that. So I tie this hackle in right in behind the hook A, two or three turns, and then take your tan silk right down to the deer hair. And then we wind the front saddle hackle down towards the deer. Now, 
Peters are generally, I like them kind of fairly heavily hackled. So you take as much turn as, uh, as many turns as you can get on that saddle hackle right down to the deer hair. And then we take our ten silk through the hackle right up to the front. About maximum say two to three turns like that. Cut off the tip of the hackle and cut off the stock. And then what I do is I just push the hackle fibers back. This fly is generally fished wet as a top dropper pattern. So we can uh, we can push the hackles back like that. And again then we just form the, the head on the fly. And again I just use my whip finish tool. Take two or three turns like that. And then I put on what's called say a double whip finish. Just to make it completely secure. And we cut off the tine silk at the end. And then all that remains then is to put on the varnish on the hook eye. So you can see if this broken deer hair wing, a bit like a stimulator wing. I first did these as I say about uh, 20 years ago and it was just a different idea to put a different uh, material into the into the wing of the wing of the Peter which helped it to be buoyant and also mobile which are I think two qualities for top uh, dropper flies that are kind of essential qualities. So this is a just put a coat of varnish on what I do there is put one coat of varnish on and then let that dry and then as I say 10 minutes later put another coat of varnish on again. So that's your uh, deer hair green peter.